In typical Detroit Lions fashion, the Detroit Lions don't make any moves for the trade deadline. And it's not unexpected. I didn't expect them to make no moves. Uh, you got Brad Holmes and Dan Campbell, uh, you know, giving lip service, talking about their open to see uh, any possibilities or whatever. These motherfuckers was not about to make any moves. Let's just go ahead and get that out the way. Uh, the plan is set in stone. The Detroit Lions currently right now are a dumpster fire. Have been a dumpster fire for the more recent years. And the plan is in full mode. We are on the tank plan. Brad Holmes, I, I swear to God, I swear to God, boy, this better be all a part of the tank plan. First off, <laughs> and let me give a shout out to, let me give a shout out to Mobby. I swear to God, Mobby, from day one, from day one, since this trade went down, this is the only guy I know on YouTube who said what the fuck it was from the beginning. He said this trade for Jared Goff was going to mean bad things for the Lions. He said how bad Jared Goff was going to be, and I didn't think Jared Goff would be anything special. I thought he could at least be decent, right? I mean, he had some good years with the Rams. I understand Todd Gurley in that defense did wonders for him, but he, he actually looked decent some years. But this dude has totally regressed into just a shell of what he could have been. I mean, it's, it's mind-boggling how uh, Sean McVay was able to do anything with this guy. It, it better have been a part of Brad Holmes' plan to bring Jared Goff in here and just suck for these next two years. That way, he can secure a top five uh, pick in the first round. It's got to be the plan. I think the plan is to we're going to suck for the uh, next coming years, and we're going to hopefully build our team through these high-round, first-round draft picks. Why else will you bring in a first-year GM or first-year head coach who, don't, who, who seemingly right now, as it stands, don't know what the hell they're doing? If your plan isn't to suck for the next few years and just collect a whole bunch of high round draft picks. That 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 has got to be the, the, the issue here, because why else would you not try to reach out to other teams and see what possibilities you can make? Why not try to dump Trey Flowers, who's been stealing. Twenty million dollars. For not doing shit. This man is committing high arm robbery. We're paying Jared Goff 30 mil. And you talking about bitching this nigga? That's not going to happen. No, they can't mess up the plan right now. The plan is to have Jared Goff on Sunday starting... <laughs> I'm going the same. The Lions are really trying to put on the front like they're trying to win games. When they know all along that the plan is to lose. We've been played for fools, man. This dude, Dan Campbell, coming here with... I don't know what his act is going to be from week to week. It's like this dude is practicing for an Academy Award or something. Brad Holmes just chilling, not saying shit. Martha Ford, uh, uh, Sheila Ford getting booed on at, at, at halftime and scared to come out. So they got Barry Sanders presenting awards. It's a shit show. Well, it's a shit show. I'm telling y'all, this is all part of the plan. Watch what I tell you.